Are you ready to learn about time today? Let's get started. The Clock Song Please sing with Mrs. Mitchell. It's on the tune of the wheels uh, on the bus go round and round. Let's get started. The hands on the clock go round and round, round and round, round and round. The hands on the clock go round and round to tell us the time. The short hand on the clock goes number two, number, number two, number, number two, number. The short hand on the clock goes number two, number to tell us the hour. The long hand on the clock goes goes around by fives, around by fives, around by fives. The long end on the clock goes around by fives to tell us the time. Good. If you want to sing it again, start the video from the beginning. This is the analog clock. We get many different types of clocks. Let's have a look at a few. Okay. Mrs. Mitchell have, has a whole lot of clocks in front of you, put it up in front of you. Let's have a look at what they are. The first one is an analog watch. Does mommy or daddy wear a watch? See which type of watch they have. This is an analog clock and an analog wall clock. These two clocks are the same, they hang on the wall. This is an analog alarm clock. A lot of people have one of these next to their bed to, uh, to wake them up in the mornings. This is a digi digital alarm clock. It has numbers instead of two hands to show us the time. This watch, the black one, is a digital watch. It tells us time by numbers, digitally where the watch above it has hands and, t uh, and uh, the two hands go around. This is an hourglass. An hourglass has got sand in it and a very small middle. When you turn it upside down with all the sand in the top and it runs slowly down the middle, it gives us an hour. So by the time the sand runs out, an hour has passed. This is a sundial. This people used many, many years ago. We have one in our school garden. This is a funny looking clock. It is called a cuckoo clock. A cuckoo clock makes a sound where a little bird pops out in the red box at the top and goes cuckoo, cuckoo, as the clock strikes on the hour. For example, at 11 o'clock, 2 o'clock. The last clock is a very old clock. We don't see them often. It's called a tambour clock. It is also an analog clock. What can we learn about the analog clock? An analog clock should be the shape of a circle. The numbers go from number 1 all the way around to number 12. The long and short hand goes round and round, day and night. We always say o'clock on the hour. So when the blue hand is on number 12, it is o'clock. And it goes to number 12 every hour. Let's have a look at this clock. Here is the hour hand. The long hand goes around each hour. The long hand tells the minutes on the clock. We always say o'clock on the hour when the long hand reaches 12. So as soon as the big hand reaches number 12, it is o'clock. A next hour has passed or a new one is starting. The little hand, the green one, the short hand tells the hours on the clock. The short hand moves to each number each hour. So the green hand, the short hand, is on the number of hours it is. So the 12 tells us it's o'clock 
and the green shorthand tells us the hour it is. So three o'clock. So the green one says three and the twelve one tells us o'clock. So the time is three o'clock. Now we are going to see if we can tell the time. We have got an analog clock in front of us. The long hand is on the 12 and the short hand is on the 1. What could the time be? Who can tell me? Yes, it's 1 o'clock. If you look at the yellow digital clock at the bottom, it says 01 dot dot 00. That is 1 o'clock in the morning. That is how we read the digital time. But what happens if it's the afternoon? Then it will be 13 dot dot zero zero. That is also one o'clock. So one o'clock analog time, the big hand is on the 12 and the small hand is on the one. When it's digital time, we read numbers. It will either be 01 or 13 dot dot zero zero for one o'clock. Who can tell me what this time is? The 12 is on the big hand, the long hand, and the short hand is on the 2. Do you know what the time is? Good, it is 2 o'clock. The time is 2 o'clock. The digital time is 02 dot dot zero zero. That is morning or night. Tell me, can you remember from the previous slide? Yes, it is morning. What would the afternoon digital time look like? Good, 14.00, our digital time. What time is it? Who can tell me? It's 3 o'clock. Well done. Our digital time is 03. Dot dot zero zero. Afternoon time will be, who can tell me? 15 dot dot zero zero. Who can tell me what's the time? Can you tell us, shout it out? Good, it's four o'clock. Big hand is on the 12, short hand is on the four. The digital time for the morning is 0400. Zero zero. Afternoon is 1600. Zero zero. 16 hours have gone past. Who can tell me this time? Remember, long hand on the 12, short hand on the 5, and it is 5 o'clock. Digital time, 05 dot dot zero zero for the morning, and the afternoon time is 17 zero zero. 17 hours have gone past. The time is, can anybody guess? Long hand on the 12, short hand on the 6. What o'clock is it? It is 6 o'clock. Very good. And the digital time is 0600 in the morning. Let's have a look at the afternoon time. 1800. 18 hours have gone past. Who can tell me what the time is now? Long hand is on the 12, short hand on the 7. It is good, 7 o'clock. Let's look at the digital time. It is 0700 in the morning, 7 o'clock in the morning. And the evening, what will the time be? It will be 1900. 19 hours have passed. So it's 1900. Zero, zero. Who can tell me what this time is? Can you shout it out? Good, it is 8 o'clock. Let's look at, have a look at the digital time. It is 0800 zero, zero in the good morning. In the afternoon, the time will be 20 dot dot zero zero, meaning 20 hours have passed. Who can tell me what this time is? It is 9 o'clock. 
the digital time is 09 dot dot zero zero and the evening it is 21 dot dot zero zero who can tell me what this time is remember long hand on the 12 short hand on the 10 good it is 10 o'clock the digital time is 10 dot dot zero zero in the morning, 10 o'clock in the morning, in the, e in the evening, be 22 dot dot zero zero, 10 o'clock in the evening. The next time, who can tell me? It is 11 o'clock. The digital time will be 11 dot dot zero zero in the morning. In the evening, it will be 23 dot dot zero zero. 23 hours have gone past in our day. How many hours do we have left? Oh, I wonder. Our last time is what? Who can tell me? Good. It is 12 o'clock. It is the last hour for the clock. 12 o'clock. The short hand shows to the point to the 12 and the long hand points to the 12. Now, that means 12 hours have gone past on the clock. But our day is 24 hours. That means it has to go around twice for a whole day. Our digital time is 12 dot dot zero zero. But in the evening, when it reaches the second 12, it is 24 hours, meaning we have 24 hours in our day. But the clock does not say 24 hours. It says 00, zero dot dot zero zero. So when the next hour happens, it goes back to 1 o'clock, which is 01 dot dot zero zero. How interesting is that? Okay, are you ready to tell the time? Grab a piece of paper and you just have to write down the answer. So you're going to look at the clocks. Clock number one, I wonder what that could be. It will be on a one, so it will be one o'clock. Twelve o'clock, three o'clock, and I'm not helping you with the last one. Now pause the video, grab a piece of paper and a pencil, and then answer the questions. Just write down the time. What o'clock? And if you're really brave, you can take your print, your glue stick, you can trace the circle and you can do your own clocks. Good luck and I hope you enjoyed it.